boy, we are rolling along. Welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. Well, it's garage ed time, and we've talked about brake fundamentals in show one, then we looked at different calipers and rotors. It only makes sense to turn our attention to brake pads. And brake pads, once again, come in all shapes, sizes, and flavors. So let's start out here with metallic brake pads. Now, metallic brake pads, they're basically just fully metal pads. You don't see those on a lot of passenger cars. You see them on those race cars. Boy, if you ever watch the race at night and you see those rotors are glowing super red, that's because they last forever. They're metal, but boy, they get hot. They get super, super hot, but they can handle the heat and they can handle a long race. What we use on our passenger cars is usually these semi-metallic pads. That's pretty good. This is a hybrid technology, but there's all kinds of material in there. It's just your regular run-of-the-mill semi-metallic pad. A lot of manufacturers put them on the car. These are great sets. I got all these sets at rockauto.com. They got premium brake pads or choices across the line. But semi-metallic pads have a little bit of metal in there. You may get a little squeal. They're going to last about middle of the road versus the metallic pads lasting forever, but not as good as stopping power as the actual semi-metallic. Then what we ran into is ceramic pads. This is pretty cool. Ceramic pads have really good stopping capability. They also withstand the heat. On a lot of multiple stops, they can dissipate it and get rid of it. And what I like about the ceramic pads is you still get the brake dust, but the brake dust is white, so you don't get all the black rims on there. Really, really nice choice, ceramic brake pads. But definitely look at your manufacturer specification and see what they call for. That's what you want to use. Now, when it comes to brake pads, there's also a deal called a brake pad wear indicator. Something that's going to let you know as a driver, either audible, tactile, some way, that your pads are starting to wear out. And I have one right here. You can see this little metal comes out to the pad and it comes down to about right here. So once that pad starts to wear past that point, this is going to scrape the rotor. Now this is a softer metal than the rotor, so it shouldn't hurt the rotor, but you're going to get that audible chirp. Chirp, 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 chirp as you're driving. Now, if you got a lot of money like Dave and you drive a high performance car, you may actually have an electronic sensor. This is really cool. Let's come off a BMW and you just replace the electronic sensor in the next set of pads. You put it in there and when it touches, it grounds it out a circuit and it lets the driver know it's time to replace the brake pads. Also, a couple segments ago, you're going to have to rewind, but we talked talked about the importance of the hardware and the pads moving. If you get associated hardware, put it on. You want this pad to slide back and forth. This one right here, not so much. It's going to stick. It's going to have problems. Make sure it's clean. It's all about that coefficient of friction, making sure that you have that good contact surface. You definitely don't want them to be messed up or dirty. Now, speaking of dirty, that's we get that complaint a lot about brake squeal and noises coming from the brakes, and it's usually because they're dirty, John. And there's something you could do. Now, I pulled this one off here. This pad, of course, probably should be replaced, sure. but for sake of demonstration, we'll show you how to clean them up. You can see the shiny surface on this side and uh, there's a simple solution right here. You grab some sandpaper, put it on a flat surface and you can start to rub. You can see the dirt coming off of that already yep. and uh, all the grime. There's brake dust on here, there's dust from the road, all kinds of mud that collects on these and just with a little bit of that you can see we're already starting to get some of the shiny off, get some of the, the surface there. Uh, it's more grippy uh, for yeah, lack of a better term for your brakes. Perfect. So you're yeah. making that good coefficient of friction. You can see the shine's going. Just keep going. Keep it level. Beautiful. All that dust come off. You're back to that high coefficient of friction. Now you got another trick to help with the sound. Sure. And the, this one's uh, also super simple. So I'll throw this out here. Looking at the other side, you can see we've cleaned it up a bit. Uh, but you, maybe you're still wanting to get rid of that squeal. And here's a good way to do it. This is uh, called Disc Brake Quiet. Uh, the name kind of says it all here. It uh, keeps your brakes quiet. You want to get rid of that sound. So spray a little of this on. Wait a few minutes, so about five minutes or so, you'll be ready to go here. And this creates sort of a, a rubber surface on the back, and that will eliminate some of the noise. It'll absorb the sound, and you'll be able to uh, drive noise-free, and you'll just feel better about your ride. Exactly. So that's going to work out real good for you. You may have put some new pads on. You didn't clean them up real well. That's an issue. Dave, incredible. You know what? It's time to turn our attention to the Master Technician Tech Tip. And trust me, it's going to be cool. Huh, we're talking about cooling systems. It's cool because you're in it. There you go. <laughs> we'll be right back with more Tech Garage presented by rockauto.com. Can't get enough of Tech Garage? Well, you can see what we're up to during the week by hitting up our Facebook page. You can even drop us a note there to say hello. And you can go online to catch up on past seasons. You can find every single episode of Tech Garage at masterstv.com. Do not go anywhere because Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com, will be right back.